The Sacramento-San Joaquin Delta is California's greatest water management challenge. The Delta lies at the eastern end of the San Francisco Bay. Its waters are brackish on the western edge, where the tides push salt water in and out. Its waters are fresh further inland, where the flows of the Sacramento and San Joaquin rivers merge. Since the mid-19th century, the Delta has been utterly transformed. Following the gold rush, farmers drained the roughly 700,000 acres of marsh that made up the Delta. They constructed more than 1,000 miles of levees, creating dozens of islands of farmland. Over time, farming has caused these lands to sink. Many Delta islands now lie more than 15 feet below sea level. The Delta was further changed by the extensive use of its waters. One third of runoff from the Delta watershed is used upstream, principally for farms. And two of the largest water projects in California, the State Water Project and the Central Valley Project, export roughly a fifth of the Delta's waters to more than 25 million people and 3 million acres of farmland in the Bay Area, the San Joaquin Valley, and Southern California. Water supplies from the Sacramento-San Joaquin Delta are declining. Quality of this water is protected today by a system of levees that hold back salt from San Francisco Bay. As the sea level continues to rise, land level continues to sink, and we have earthquakes in this part of the world, the system is a grave risk. Fixing this will be expensive. Not fixing it will also be expensive because we'll have much less water for the people of California. Managing the waters of the Delta is complicated by changes to the ecosystem. There are dozens of native plants and animals that make this place home or pass through as part of their migration. Many of them are now threatened with extinction. This includes the Delta smelt, salmon, sturgeon, steelhead trout. And the sources of stress to these fishes are many. This changes the flow regime, transformations of habitat within the Delta and upstream of the Delta, the presence of invasive species, and now a changing climate. Thus, any fix is going to require that we address the problems facing fish and other wildlife that depend on it. In 2009, the legislature passed the Delta Reform Act. This law calls for the Delta to be managed for two co-equal goals, improved water supply reliability and ecosystem health, while also protecting the Delta as a unique and evolving place. Several large, complex, and highly controversial planning efforts are underway to address these goals. This includes a proposal to replumb the Delta, using tunnels to move water from the Sacramento River to Central Valley Project and State Water Project pumps in the South Delta. All of these efforts are fraught with uncertainty, but California needs to move beyond planning and begin addressing the Delta's many challenges.